Good morning. I'm Sherry Kenny. On behalf of this year's generosity team, I'd like to give you an update as to the commitments that have been made to Central for the year 2022. Our goal is $450,000. To date, we have received 85 commitments totaling $380,000. So we're almost at 85% of our goal. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has made a commitment. If you haven't yet made your commitment, please consider doing that today. I was just on the phone with my daughter Lauren earlier this morning and she said, Mom, we really need to make our pledge. And I said, yes, you do. <laughs> um, they're not able to worship with us in person. They have a 17 month old baby who can't be vaccinated and they just can't take that risk. But they know what an important part of their lives Central is. So thank you, Central. Now, if you'll just indulge me a brief memory. Um, back in 1977, when I was 27 years old, you can do the math, I was new in Denver and looking for a church home. And being fourth generation Presbyterian, I came to visit Central. That Sunday, I was warmly greeted by Don and Nadine Ross, and if you're out there, Don and Nadine, I'll never forget the first time I met you, um, and other wonderful people. And the sermon that morning was Dr. Jim Emerson and his wife, Margaret, who everyone called Miggs, doing a dialogue in the pulpit. And for one brief shining moment, I thought this church had a female pastor. Um, not so, but almost, almost that good. So when I left that morning, I was pretty sure I had found my new church home. The next Sunday, I came back and sat on the east side, about midway where Pam is sitting, and uh, next to an elderly woman, and introduced myself, and we exchanged a few greetings, and then she said, Mrs. So-and-so usually sits where you're sitting. <laughs> and I said, oh, that's nice. And she said, but she won't be able to sit there today because you're sitting in her seat. <laughs> now, if you've never noticed, if you look in front of you, there's a little brass plate with a number. So you are sitting in someone's seat. <laughs> These seats used to be subscribed. Everyone had assigned seating. There's a seating chart down in the Heritage Center. When that's reopened, you can take a look at it. And people paid money to sit in their seats, and that's one of the ways that the church raised funds. By 1977, that practice was long gone, by the way, <laughs> but I did find an excuse to get up and go to the restroom and then come back and take a different seat. <laughs> so I was laughing and telling Louise that story several years ago and she said, Sherry, I can't believe you came back. <laughs> Recently when we were having our Zoom parish meeting and we asked people to share important memories about their experience at Central and so I started thinking, why did I come back? And why have I continued to come back to Central for almost 45 years? There are a lot of reasons. I've written them down. I'm not going to share all of them with you, but just a few highlights. Worship. Worship is at the center of our experience. The quality of the preaching of the Word that we receive each and every Sunday is beyond comparison. And choir, I give thanks for you every Sunday for your commitment to be here. Central's mission partnerships, New Genesis, Central Visitation Program housed in our building, but you may not be aware that Central was instrumental in the formation of what has become Metro Care Ring and of Urban Peak and so many other important programs in our city. Fellowship and friendship, 
serendipity. Oh, may we please be together in person at some point soon. Um, our PW Bible study, all the different ways that we care for each other and support each other, um, including that cloud of witnesses who are no longer able to be with us or we're not able to be with them at this point. Um, but their memories sustain us. The connections that we make, the Christian education, the opportunities for self-examination, such as the book discussion of CAST at People's Presbyterian, are so important to me. And being able to be in an intergenerational community. I had the wonderful experience of being able to provide guidance in our Godly Play program for a number of years. And now I see all those three-year-olds going to high school and going to college, um, being able to mentor one of the confirmants myself right now, someone I've known as a, as a baby. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful benefit as, as those of us who get older um, become those, those uh, that older generation. So in short, each and every one of you is the reason I keep coming back to Central. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you've shown me over the years. Central's an important part of our life. We were married here, our children were baptized here, our granddaughter was baptized here, and chances are our memorial services will be here. It's an important part of our lives. So I'm grateful, and that's one of the reasons that um, Andy and I want our giving to reflect the priority that we place on our membership here at Central.